Hey, Captain. What's up? Oh, Captain, my Captain. All right, I'm just trying to get all this going. Okay. All right, chapter four, baby. Right after I get rid of this copyright infringement. All right. No more uh, copyright issues. Seriously got to edit that out. Yeah, it's great. It was great today. It was raining all day today. Perfect weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Like, just right. It was so, so good. Ooh, what'd you make? I ordered pizza, and I, uh, I scarfed on pizza and pasta for like an hour. That was my dinner. Now let's try to get my levels. Ooh, hamburgers. Hamburgers. <laughs> hamburgers. Fucking love burgers. Okay, so I'm keeping the sound um, all the way up because uh, someone complained about it on, on when I uploaded it to YouTube. And uh, hopefully my voice volume is loud enough to where it's not too annoying and not too loud. And um, yeah, so there's my internal volume is fine. Yeah, I'm a cook at a at a fucking restaurant, so I uh, I grill all the time, and it's the worst thing ever. I hate it. I hate when it's your job. It's not fun. When it's uh, for fun, it's fun. You there, friend? Yes, you. A word of warning. You'd better get indoors as quick as you can. There's vampires on the streets. You don't My say. My sister's husband saw a man drained white. He was just last week. And if the vampires don't get you. The Seraphim guards will have some questions for a stranger in this part of the city. And their questions aren't too healthy. Now go along with you quick. Thank you for the helpful advice. This is another really good level. I love the uh, the noble aristocracy of this place. Quick, I'm going to save your life. No, oh really? You're still gonna kill that guy? What an asshole. Come on, right into my trap. Yeah, get it. Yeah, I think this is the one, this is the one too. Uh, I think it's a little bit later in the level. I'll take this guy's weapon. He's dead. Oh well. Free blood. Yeah, this is another one of my favorite levels. I think every level in Blood Omen 2 has its own, like, aesthetic that makes it, like, the perfect level, you know? Like, I really love this one because of the music. The music is fantastic in this. I love uh, just the overall look and the contrast from, like, this rich city with more lights and everything rather than, like, the lower city. It's pretty cool, and um, it has one of the best uh, one of the best boss fights in the, in the entire game, even though it's a pattern. So, the rumors speak true, Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Kane. We were not friends. Or will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me. I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you waged war upon Nosgoth? Begged? I never begged. In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. 
<laughs> That's the Marcus I remember. When the Saraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Saraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, Cain. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will kneel to me, Cain, and the Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. <laughs> What? Impossible! What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung? My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. You may find the good bishop, Cain, but when you do, he will be dead. Not if I reach him first. Right, here we go. I'll blab, I'll blab on in a minute. I hate these enemies. These are the worst enemies in the game. Because they're the ones that take uh they take the longest to kill these guys. They're the worst. Um Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, it sucks when like your job is something normal. That's considered like normal. It's a pain you never want to do it again. Well, no, yeah, the spiders suck too, but like I really hate these guys because you have a ramp of, of, uh, of I guess, hit progression or whatever, enemy progression, which is like you have the thugs and then even the Seraphan, like, the early, like the, the early Seraphan guards, even they don't take that long to kill. But then these guys, it's, it takes forever. Like, yeah, sure, you got like the other Seraphan that take forever to hit, but I feel like they die quicker. I don't know. Just just me. Yeah, that's yeah, th thanks for pointing that out to me. I just realized he said maintenance in a car shop like I don't drive, captain, but uh, if I did, you're the guy I would go see about uh, fixing my car. If I drove. I know a lot of people don't like Blood Omen 2, but um, you have to admit that the team, when trying to, like, I guess, emulate the visual style of Blood Omen 1, they got it right because you have your different armor sets and, like, how this this is kind of like a throwback to the bone armor in Blood Omen 1, only it's fancy and aristocratic looking. But it has, like, generally the same, like, skull outlook. I think that's pretty fucking neat. That's pretty cool. Dude works on fucking jet engines. That's badass. Alright, I always cheese past these guys. I fucking I hate fighting them, so I always try to like throw them in the water. Uh, I don't care about the blood in, in this instance. God damn it. Alright, 
Come on, get a little closer. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Come on, fucking grab him. God damn it. There. Why can't anybody swim? Like, why can't anybody swim in this game? Yeah, I started work today. I had to go back to I had to go back to uh, work today. It was annoying. Um, and then I work uh, to I work today. I work uh, until Sunday. I work every day until Sunday. And then um, and then I'm off for two days or something. And then uh, we start back officially on uh, on Wednesday. We open the park all the way back up. But there's only going to be like three cooks because there's going to be a limited amount of staff that like or amount of people coming and going into the park and everything it's it's fucking dumb yeah good point good point it's it's probably the gambesons they're wearing and the and the chain mail under it or whatever At least it's not an underwater level. Oh, oh yeah, this conversation. This fella touched me on the shoulder. Right there in the Red Raven? That's right. But I could tell he didn't belong there. Nice hands he had, and that look in his eye like it reads too much. Oh, a swell, was he? That's right. And he tells me he'll give me a tenner if I follow his wife of an evening and kill the man she meets. <laughs> and guess who it was? Who? A priest at the cathedral. She was going there every night to pray for her son who's run off somewhere. Wow. What did you do? What do you think? What I've been paid to do. I'm not one to spit at a tenner. Is it time yet? Wait till that light up there goes out. The gentry never think. They invite you to their house, and what? Do they think you just go away after that? And there's lots of silver, you say? And the woman has jewels? Hidden in the same place. Can you believe it? Well, we'll just have to teach them a lesson about that. They should thank us for it. Not today. Oh shit, did he freeze? Oh no. Really? See, that's why I like the I like the console version better because uh, Kane shows up after you kill someone, and then um, the guy will just attack you straight up. Like, there's no waiting, and like, oh, someone mysteriously just died. You can also uh, you can kill the rats in this game. Like, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess so. The warrior does go down. The warrior does go down with his ship or his weapon. Here already? Oh yeah, I played a little bit further. Uh, you there? to conduct me to the bishop's manor on the instant. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. Not me, you fool. You know me. Cain. Cain is the one you seek. Well, he's not going to stop and tell us his name. Or to kill him on sight. Those are our orders. Yeah, um, you can kill the rats in this game. I didn't find this out until, uh, like, last week when I was playing this game to capture footage. That sh that sh that's going to be a quote, like, when I was playing this game to capture footage. Um, no, uh, yeah, you can kill the rats. And um, uh, they have a cat. There's a couple cats in this game. 
Um, and I think you can kill them too, or at least uh, they they run away or something. Kay, it is Borico. You must reach the bishop's manor at the other end of the city. Only he can give you passage into the Seraphim Keep. The curfew has set in, so be careful on the streets. The guards are looking for anyone suspicious and will attack you on sight. He's not going to stop and tell us his name. I think that's so funny. There's there's very few jokes in the Legacy of Cain series. And like the ones that they do have. <laughs> yes, I'm commandeering this vehicle. And the ones that they do have are fucking hilarious. Like they're pretty damn funny. Oh shit. Did they see me? Did I just break the game? Oh, okay. I was like, are they gonna attack me? Let's get three on one, baby. Come on. Away, dude. Jeez. It is? I didn't even notice that, really? It's in a mausoleum in the hum in a human citadel, I think. Seriously, Kane's? Oh yeah, it is in the game later on. It's uh oh shit, that's right. It's uh right when you, right before you find the bishop or something, I think. That might be um um. I was gonna be like maybe that's his crypt, but this is Meridian. This isn't even close to where uh like. Kane, Kane came back to life. Did you really crawl over there? Yeah, I completely forgot about that puzzle. I think they just threw it in there just because. I don't think there's actually a reason for it. Oh shit, I broke the door. There's the kitty. There's a kitty in here. Oh. Yes. Um, this one is... This, uh, this game isn't, like, being made by the same team, but, um, the, the, uh, the guy who's working on Dead House Sonata, that, that game I blab about on my YouTube channel, I just realized, look at that, that broken-ass, uh, texture um he's worked on the first game in this series um and this is the sequel that because of like li like licensing issues and uh and like some lawsuits um got got put to another team Shit. Um, my other friend uh my other friend who works at ubi at uh, ubisoft um is working on a game I can't talk about because NDA. And, uh, yeah, I can't talk about it. Yeah, no, this, um, um, yeah. My friend who, my, I have a friend who works at, where's that cat? There's a freaking cat somewhere. Like, it's physically here. There, a, a cat physically shows up. All right, let's try to kill the rat. Too bad you can't drink the rat's blood. 
Oh, is it up there? Yeah, but anyway, yeah, um, cats. There's a cat, like, I, and maybe in um, uh, in the slums, a cat shows up too. I have a, I have footage of it because I was recording. <laughs> Shit, I pushed the block too far. There we go. I wonder how, how painfully annoying that process was to, to just get this puzzle working properly. the question I know now I am just being a tease um, what's the question Tamika where the fuck is the cat I swear I know it's here so <laughs> cat noises no you kill you you killed him before me for Ion to appear. Ah. Alright, now they're just messing with me. Throw him out the window. No. Oh man, that would have been cool. You can try to create it in your own game. I write it down for later or else you will forget it. Okay, fine. So just uh, text it to me. Text to me whatever your question is. I do. I love the uh, I love the mini bosses in this game. Or at least I guess they're mini bosses. reads a lot. Alrighty, I'm going to hit the record button so I can start getting more footage. You guys can witness my process of how I record stuff. It's the most annoying thing ever. Oh, wait, no, there's a cutscene here. Never mind. I can't jump. Can I jump in here? Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. They're running around in the background, but like the other guards aren't going to do anything because they're stupid. Because the AI is just so dumb in this game. So. I would like mist kill everybody, but... 
it's fine. I haven't, I haven't, I don't know. What? This is broken. Wow. What? Where'd the other guy go? He went all the way back over there. Uh, yeah. I think so. Like, I would like, um, I would like, I wouldn't say mini mini bosses per se but um i don't know i guess they would be mini bosses like because they're more difficult than the average enemy rather than like big tank characters or something um god what am i doing wouldn't want a legacy of Cain like Dark Souls. Motherfucker. Did he really? What a piece of shit. Oh shit. Well, now you gotta die. You were trolling me on that bridge. That's what you get. on this game again no like uh i would i know a lot of people are like uh thinking that like blue point is supposed to um remake a it's gonna be remaking um soul reaper but they're not they're remaking dark souls and i know a lot of people are like oh man turn the legacy of kane series into a dark souls game like that's the worst decision you could possibly ever do um it's so it's so bad Shit. I grab him. Nope. Oh fuck. Forgot to block. Stop it. Alright, there we go. Look, he's gonna die like super easy. This is so sad. I do love how their like glowing armor is tied to their life force. I think that's like super cool. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm tired. I didn't think that's really awesome. Yeah, I would never play those either. Lol, if it was good. <laughs> yeah, uh, Captain Cutthroat and a bunch of other Legacy of Kane fans hate this game. It is... It is the black sheep of the series because it's vastly different than the rest of the other uh, games. Like you have, um, you have Blood Omen and Soul Reaver, which are like similar style-wise. They're both like Zelda likes, and Soul Reaver Two is like a Zelda like. Um, and then you have this one, Blood Omen Two, which is a linear compared to the rest of the series, which is like fairly open world and um, no loading screens or no linearity or whatever um you have this game blood omen 2 which is a linear uh follow down follow the corridor pathway or whatever um to your destination and um oh shit god that scared me um so uh yeah that's why a lot of people hate this game or at least not necessarily hate it but it's not their favorite me, on the other hand, I fucking love this game. I think it's amazing. I, it's one of my favorites in the series. It's like, it goes like Soul Reaver, Blood Omen, 
Blood Omen 2, um, Soul Reaver 2, Defiance. Defiance is always the last one, period. Like, uh, Defiance isn't bad, but, um, it's no, it's no Blood Omen 2, baby. Stop this again, let's start it up again. See now this is this is a like look he's he's not standing in mist. He's not even like close to a mist path. Yet I can still kill him. I guess because he's like right on the edge. You think Zelda was ruined? What's wrong with Zelda? Breath of the Wild looks fucking awesome. The 20 minutes I've played at Breath of the Wild trying to gather up horses was cool. Oh yeah, it's glitchy as shit, that's for sure. Oh man, what system were you playing on though? Were you on PS2, Xbox, or GameCube? Damn, I see now my PS2 version, I have a PS2 version back in, in New York, and that game, um, it's got some glitches. The only time it messes up is towards the end, and the cutscene is like off sync. Um, like when it's uh when you're fighting the Seraphan Lord as the last boss. That's um that's the only part of the game that glitches for me. The rest of it is uh is pretty fine. Oh, gonna sneeze. Breath, Breath of the Wild is not Zelda. Ho, ho, hum to you, sir. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, what am I doing? Oh, shit. I'm ganged up. I might as well sell those. I am coming to get them. What do you know? It's it's hard. We got a virus going on. I can't get back up to New York yet. Man, yeah, it's also everybody's clipping through fucking walls, like. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, that's true. Like, well, I don't know. There's there's like open world dungeons. <laughs> there's there's open world dungeons in Zelda. Like that is that counts. That counts. I should probably stop fucking recording. I just realized I'm recording this whole fucking time. Um. All right, so nobody follows me. I think this is the part. I think we're coming up with we're coming up to the glitch. Never mind, not yet. It's a stupid uh a block puzzle. Another block puzzle. Yeah, fine. We'll talk about it later. Oh, shit. I always want to fucking jump attack this guy. There we go. Bitch. No. Throw him in the water and can he drown? I wonder if that's an option. I'm doing really good on this block. Thing. Shit, shit. Just 
Cut it out. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, you guys. <laughs> Dude, bro, get tired already. Holy cow. Oh man, come on. Get tired. Jesus. Alright, let's see if he drowns. Oh, I can't even do it. Oh. That would have been cool. See, that's what I would have liked. I, w I liked if, like, stupid. He's so dumb. Man, I, okay, I, I never should have bought this. Um, I love Thief and, like, Immersive Sims and Deus Ex and stuff. I want that to be in more games. I want, like, more games to be Immersive Sim-like. So if I wanted to throw him in the water and kill him, then I couldn't. He could fucking drown in a puddle or whatever because he's stupid. <laughs> he's wearing heavy armor. Or if I wanted to, like, crush him with that block up there, I could do that, too. Like, it is not to be, sadly. Uh, I can't remember this puzzle. Shit. Glyph. This way. Ah, okay. See, and then the other half, the other half of Blood Omen Two is just waiting around for Glyph Energy to, waiting around for the electricity to turn on. say uh so there's a there was this game um called not that's one that's another thing i like about the legacy of kane series is a lot of other games like borrow elements from it and i know a lot of people didn't like nosgoth i thought nosgoth was fucking cool nosgoth tamika was an online multiplayer game set in this universe and um it uses a bunch of steampunk stuff it like borrows that steampunk element from from like soul reaver and this but uh they had a um, crossbow people and uh I think that's really cool that like they took some of these designs or whatever and put them in there, you know? Like they just took a bunch of stuff from the rest of the series and, and made a multiplayer game out of it. Yeah, Tesla was a hill. <laughs> yes, Tesla was the one who, who, um, so S Sim Ant, what is Sim Ant? What is Sim Ant? Yes, Tesla was a Hilden. Um, steampunk, steampunk as fuck. Okay, now I think we're at that stupid level. I'm just trying to get to the... God damn it, I've been recording the entire time. Okay. Yes, here we are. We're at the glitch part. Okay. The Bishop's Manor is near. However, the Seraphim patrols have locked down all the streets. You may be able to trick them into opening the gates. Find the clock tower and ring its bell. The workers will think it time for their shift to change and will open the gates. You guys can hear um, the story okay, right? Like all that, all that cutscene and stuff is fine. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light. So gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning Oh, cool. In there. It's the they same. It's stuck on a loop. The lights stay on of their own accord? Calls it glyph energy. I wonder how long this conversation is gonna lose. It now it's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I've seen glyph lights, but not in a gentleman's house. He won them over in a minute the day he got the glyph energy to heat his bath water for him. That's right, we carry the cans up cold now, and he's got the water hot in a twinkling. The girls are all right with it now. So I should hope. 
Here's everything on your list for a week, just as you asked. You call this a peach? Peach stone, more like. It's green. I told my lady. Oh my God! It is on a loop. Ah. I told my lady the girls wouldn't. <laughs> I wonder if she'll come back and she'll still be on that loop. I wonder. I'm going to I'm going to let's find out. Cuz like she'll stop being scared after a minute and come back. Sim Ant was on PC and SNES. Just with ants. Yeah, that makes it. Do you play as an ant in Sim Ant? Instant rigor mortis. Let's see if she starts talking. That'll be that'll be the breaking point. <laughs> I told my no way. Let's see if he off. talks. He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. But he won them over in a minute. The day he got the glyph energy to heat his bath water for him. That's right. We carry the cans up cold now, and he's got the water hot in a twinkling. The girls are all right. <gasps> That's amazing. That is so amazing. No way. I don't know why they put mist around these guys when I can't do anything about it. I can't attack them. Shit, 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 shit. There's spiders and lawnmowers. In Sim Ant, you're actually an ant? And you have to save your ant queen. Holy shit! kill her and take her green peach I should I think I'll kill everyone that's why uh, Kane is a villain and considered a villain because he can literally fucking kill everyone and like I guess the objective for Blood Omen 2 is you kill everyone because one of the mechanics is you gain health and or extra extra level extra experience I guess to level up your health by killing people and like you want to get it to max is like the goal right so you have to kill people what is with his face i like his clothes though that's one thing i wonder if she's still talking is she still talking to him I told my holy shit your friend is dead lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. I told my lady the girls. You guys, she's broken. We broke her. With that light burning in there, they were that frightened of him. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean that lordship's room with that light burning in there. That frightened of him. I think it's this it's the stress. The PC version is cooler. Okay, I'll check that out. That's really cool, yeah. Like I think uh the stress of, of him just being a dead body got to her, so it was the shock. And she was um clearly she's clearly gone mad. She's gonna get sent to the eternal prison. This is so crazy. Like is it it is if if you have uh the uh the spiked mace spiked mace oh man that just that just got i just i can't realize that. i just realized that that's uh that that's their version of the spiked mace for blood of two um so if you have the spiked mace in this in this game in the, in the weapons you can knock his head off and he'll still be standing there 
like it's it's a permanent glitch in all these games it's so, holy shit that's great I drank everyone right everyone's dead yeah am I still recording oh fuck I wasn't wait I can just rip it from my stream never mind but I like having direct footage of uh Um, gameplay. Shit, come on. Push the fucking block. Oh, fuck. Did I just break this game too? Shit. Or can I only pull it once? I think I, I, think I reached the limit. There's another box. Healing box. Health box somewhere. Here. Oh, that's maybe that's another level I'm thinking of. talking to a headless man. Yeah, I used to do it all the time in the PS2 version. Maybe she is just that dumb. No, uh, it's clear clearly the shock has gotten to her and she is she's been driven insane. All right. At least these are better than the uh, Soul Reaver block puzzles, that's for sure. I also love how uh, Nosgoth copied this statue. This statue is in Nosgoth in just a different um, variant. Like, it's, I think it's Malak instead of, of uh, whoever the fuck this is. Just this, a Seraphan knight, I guess. Maybe that is their version of Malak? No. Getting him headless is super cool, but you gotta do it with the spiked mage. You can't do it with a or the soul reaver. If you cheat and you use the soul reaver, then you can do it. Cause soul reaver cuts his head off too. All right, this is one of my favorite like sections. I love this this wall right here. I love like that area, and like I just I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Like I'm. I love this whole like skyline I suppose it is. And then you have like the really the really nice like lake under here. Man, say what you will about uh about like certain games. Man, level design is so fucking cool. Like props to these level designers. And like the fact that you can, you know, see see across to, to like just this. It's fucking it's so it's so great. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can go on about it for hours. And now we're into a really good section where we get to go inside of a freaking mansion or whatever. That's cool too. That's super sweet. Did you see that? No, you saw nothing. And there's a sound glitch. Uh, I think I'm going to go into a sound glitch. Shut up. <laughs> You there! Stop that! Um, yeah, no, Soul Reaver cuts their heads off too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Gotcha.
You can't escape. Yeah, good point. This game has um, notorious crashing issues, but it's worked for me just fine. Like, on my crap top, when I was playing on my potato laptop, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't. See, like, this just doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna, oh shit, see, why would you put, there's gotta be a way to get past these guys that I don't know about. There's got to be a way to, like, cheese out on mist and and get past these guys. But, like, what the fuck is it? Because they find you. Like, they can track you with their glyph energy. Like, he's going to turn right around. Watch. See? Unless you got to be really quick about it or something. Maybe that's what it is. Nah, see? Shit. Man, yeah, I've never been able to pull it off. <laughs> oh, dude, that's terrible. That's so bad. No, I always play... Um, when I'm playing Legacy of Kane, like, chron chronologically, um, and not just, you know, Soul Reaver, and then I feel like playing Blood Omen, and then I, I'll play Defiance, is... Uh, Oh, this is a really good section, too. I love this area. Um, fuck it. This whole level is fine. Th this whole level is, is good. Um, <laughs> no, when I'm playing uh, the game chronologically, this is the last game I play because chronologically, it's the last in the timeline. Like, it it makes sense after Defiance. After playing Defiance, this is the one you play. And then it just goes into a loop because time travel. And we talked about this in the last episode. We're not going to do it again. <laughs> a plague on the land. Don't talk that way. They are the means to an orderly society. My father said. Oh, you and your father. Don't you see? The order and discipline the Seraphim impose on the lower orders are for everyone's good. They respect us. They know their place. My father says there was a time when the great noble families ruled the land, with a king over all. It's just the same now. The Seraphim lord we, the nobles of the land, are not being permitted to have a proper influence upon affairs. Speak for yourself. We cringe and we pay. Many an ancient family has been brought to ruin by the unending taxes. And where is the money going? He's not even building palaces. And your father say that too? Father has disappeared. Oh, I am so sorry. Summoned to a meeting. Don't tell me anything more. Never returned. So I've been thinking that if we, the young nobles, could meet... I've just remembered I have a very important... Uh, something I must do at once. What a wuss. What a wuss. Um... Oh, sh Alright, something I always do with this puzzle... Oh, fuck, can I do it? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh... Um, oh man, what was I going to say? I completely forgot. Something with like that. Oh yeah, uh, World War II. Like there's so much, it's just World War II. The Seraphan are just Nazis um, in this game. Oh, and they're not even like trying to cover it up. Taxes, but where's the money going? Yeah, for real, the costumes are amazing in this. Yeah, because Paradox. Yeah, Soul Reaver 2. Soul Reaver 2 happened, and then Paradox, and then... Can I jump down here? I can't remember. God damn it. No. Um, yeah, Soul Reaver 2 happened, and then Paradox, and then Blood Omen 2 exists, because Soul Reaver 2 happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video where I explain the entire legacy of Cain... But they exp I explained the entire Legacy of Kane timeline, and that's going to be a long-ass video. <laughs>
Or maybe I'll make it a joke. Maybe I'll, I'll make it a joke and, like, try to be really fast about it. There was a really good lore video. Um, I think there, this one, this one tune YouTube site called Lore, did Legacy of Kane lore. And, uh, and they, they covered all the bases, pretty much, with really nice little animation. This is their equivalent. They're like, man, Soul Reaver's block puzzles suck. Let's do something that doesn't suck, but let's still have block puzzles without being block puzzles. They're glyph puzzles now. Oh, I think I break the game if I push it too far. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, they are the bad guys. Oh man, Simic, I can't wait for you to see um, the armor in the next, uh, like, I guess, section. Not chapters, because, like, he keeps the same armor for the, a couple of chapters, and then it'll change to another set. Yes. Well, I mean, people hate this game just because... <laughs> people... <laughs> People hate this game just because it's Blood Omen 2. There's no other there's no other explanation. It's just Blood Omen 2. That's fucking Blood Omen 2, you know? It's like uh like fucking um god damn it man. See, and then he can I can cheese it. And he'll also Kane should be able to jump over this fence. Like there is no reason he shouldn't. Oh whoa. No way, whoa, did I just whoa. I've never this never happened to me before. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man, no invisible wall. Oh, that's cool. Run. No, not that way. Ooh. Any bonuses here? No. Oh shit, I can't get through that door. No, 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 no. No, no, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh fuck, I gotta do it all over again? Uh. Damn it. Really? Oh, fuck this. Sorry, you guys have to watch a really annoying um, block puzzle again. Oh wait, hold on a minute. So, oh fuck, hold on, I'm pausing because I really want to read this caption, sorry. Okay, Bloodman 1 happened and Kane killed William, Paradox. Soul Reaver happened and the Physical Reaver broke, Paradox. Then because Soul Reaver 2 happened, Paradox, which caused the events of Bloodman 2 which uh, fights the Hilden Lord and Paradox, then Defiance happened. Yes, Soul Reaver 2 happened, Soul Reaver 2 Paradox happened, and that causes the events of Defiance, which cause the events of Blood Omen 2, which take place after Blood Omen 1, but also during the same time as Defiance Paradox. <laughs> it's as 
to quote Simon Templeman, a paradox. It's all a paradox. <laughs> like, yes, uh, Tamika, this series is known for its time travel, but it's really smart time travel. It's not, it's not, and and I'll. This is a hill I will die on, Captain. It's not multiverses. It's not. Um, multiple timelines a to b it's like when one thing happens in one timeline things will get shuffled around and then it will continue to be a through line only whatever happened is like the new timeline there's no timeline a or timeline b like you can go in a loop or whatever but you're constantly going to go down one straight line of time it's like it's not it's it's like it's like Back to the future. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally should. Shit. Uh, I can, um, I can find it during a capture. Or during, like, the little chat upload. And then I will, uh, make... And I'll make it part of the, uh, the thumbnail. You're gonna be part of my thumbnail, Captain. And where is the money going? Well, it's going to, uh, you know, kill off all the vampires and enslave the humans. I am so sorry about your father. It wasn't my fault. Okay, thanks, Tamika. That's such bullshit that, like, five of them come out. Oh, I also uh, got confirmation from, was it Jalen who said it during a stream? Or was it Dennis? I think it was Dennis. Um, the the vampires in Deadhouse Sonata are gonna be, uh, they're gonna look like this. They're gonna look like Kane. Um, and then as they evolve, uh, they're supposed to look more Nosferatu-ish as they get like older and you level up your character. Um, I think I think uh, Jalen said it in a stream in like yesterday's stream or whatever. I just thought about that because like the white hair and uh, and Kane looking like a girl. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably blow that up and um, and 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 use it as a caption when I'm fucking talking about <laughs> this game, <laughs> like this. And then cap, and then uh, and then I'll put cap captain's um dialogue in there as a thumbnail. Yeah, I know we never see those stories, but um, I think Amy, Amy or Daniel said something like that. Like, go go on Daniel's forum or ask a. Uh, if you're part of the uh, the Legacy of Cain fans Facebook group, if you ever go on Facebook, uh, Patrick Johnson, aka the Hilden, he um, he knows Legacy of Cain better than I do. He knows that shit like the back of his fucking hand. And uh, and Reina, Reina Audrin is um, and Ben of course are like really like really good about uh, knowing that kind of stuff. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, revenge, bitch. I'm on one of the Facebook groups. Yeah, there's like a billion of them. Um, but yeah, Patrick Johnson knows a lot of stuff. Um, I know Ben knows a lot of stuff. And, uh, and Reyna, of course. And um, Acer, Acer Hod... He knows a lot. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Andrew Nosgothian, I think is his name on Facebook. He knows a lot too. Seriously, what the fuck is just combat after combat? This is also why people hate Blood Omen 2 because you have just combat after combat section sometimes and it never ends. But we're getting to a good part. We're getting to like some juicy, some juicy bits.
Uh, Tamika, what did you do today? Like, that's some. These people are really tiny. I just noticed everyone else is like super short, and Kane is like dumbass tall. He's like 6'5 or something. I forgot what his height was. He's a tall boy. Oh, cutscene. I know, I know this game so well. I know when cutscenes are gonna happen. Like. Oh, we're almost at the end. The guards are so stupid. We were told to be looking out on a vampire, not me, you idiot. Kane is the one you see. You work for the bishop, don't you? I have three crates of wine to deliver. I don't work for him. Oh, yes, you do. I've seen you there. I've left his employ just this minute. I wouldn't go near the place if I were you. Why not? I've got this wine. Seraphim searching the house. Thanks, Rick. I owe you for that. Seraphim are searching the house. Um. Are we already? All right. God damn it. for a second. Yeah, he could. My first day back at work was garbage. Um, today you dropped off a package and downloaded the image. So um, so my first day back at work, I mean, I'm not complaining because I was only there for two hours. So it's not really work. All we were doing was, um, was cleaning. Um, we... Uh, we just detail cleaned because uh, cause we haven't been open for two months. So we wiped down walls and uh, and like uh, detail cleaned uh, this thing and that thing. It wasn't particularly fun. Oh no. All right, I haven't like stabbed someone furiously yet in a long time. Still alive? This guy's persistent. Tis but to scratch. Okay, now you're dead. There's so many. There's so many Blood Omen fanfics. Ooh, Blood Rain would be another good one. I mean, I might uh. After um after I get done with Blood Omen 2, I might pop on some Blood Rain. Yeah, that'd be a good game to stream. Go through Blood Rain 1 and 2 and 3. Man, I love those games. Blood Rain, the Blood Rain games are so good. Number 1's my favorite, though. I didn't know, though, that Blood Rain is a sequel to... Uh, an old, um, like an old Resident Evil style action game. No! What? Who is that? What? Shut up. <laughs> what kind? What kind of a? What kind of package? Wait. What? Yes, Dennis Dyack, Tamika. Dennis Dyack is the guy who created Legacy of Kane. He's working on Dead House Sonata. He made Blood Omen 1, and then um, an Eternal Darkness, and a bunch of other... Um, he made a Metal Gear game. He made he made a remake of Metal Gear Solid. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, I gotta jump. I gotta climb around and jump.
Oh man, oh man, that's what I was gonna ask him. I was like, what's his address? I have all these maps I wanna send him. So he can sign them and then I can sell them for like a crap ton of money. Or at least I think a crap ton of money. All right, this is really cool. I like how the bishop's manor looks like a church. Like this area here, it looks like a church. But it might have just been like a recycled church texture. Like, like this is like, oh, I'm in a church. I'm a bishop. Just killed that man in cold blood. Really? Are you really looking for me right now? What is going on? Can I make it to the mist? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes. Just cheese him. Where did he go? Oh, and the music here is great. I like the uh the, the different music change. Yeah, legit. Worth more than <laughs> worth more than Michael Jackson's signature. I mean I mean to the right people, yeah. Like there's big box there's big box versions of Blood Omen going for like two hundred bucks unopened, you know? To the right collector, like totally they totally buy it. And to a freaking map to a Blood Omen one map. A Blood Omen one map that that resurfaces on eBay once in a blue moon, yeah, people would buy that shit. Collectors would buy that map, you know. Um, just imagine getting the uh, the figures. Just imagine getting the um, the the Soul Reaver figures that uh that like are super hard to find. Getting them signed by Amy and and, uh, and Daniel, who worked on those games. And um, man, that'd be fucking cool. All right, boss fight. Okay, not yet. I jumped the gun. Yeah, we gotta start wrapping this up soon. My phone's at 25%, baby. Yeah, I think I'll ask him a little later when uh when I check out I have to check out how much um eBay eBay uh takes takes from things. Really? Oh shit. I can just miss. What am I doing? Here I am worried, like, oh no, he's gonna see me. I can just turn invisible. <laughs> No, I have to see uh, how much eBay takes from like, like so if I put something up for like 400 bucks, is eBay gonna take half of that and I only get 200 bucks? You know? <laughs> really, you met Michael Jackson once and he was a dick? <laughs> Mini boss. That sucks, man. I met um, I met Dio. I met Ronnie James Dio for like five seconds. I guess that counts. Uh, I was walking out of a GameStop and I was in New York. I was in New York walking out of a GameStop and Dio was like walking on 86th Street. And um, I was like, holy shit, you're Dio. And then like, uh, and he was like, yeah. And then like, um, like he flashed horns and I flashed horns. And then we just continued on our way. It was the coolest like 30 seconds of my life. I was like, yeah, man, lo love your stuff, think you're great. Like that should kill you. That, sh that should legit kill you. All right, try this on for size. Blech. I'm surprised my sword hasn't broke yet. Yeah, Gary Sinise sounds like a like a cool dude to me. I would totally I'd look Michael Jordan, not Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> there's only one MJ, bro. That's Michael Jackson. I mean, I could, I could not put it on eBay. I could put it on like a, an offer up, like let it go offer up site, 
and potentially get more money but then you have just a bunch of people haggling so i'd rather put it up on like ebay see how much ebay is going to take for like take a cut and then start the bid to where i don't end up losing money and if i lose money it's it's not a lot of money you know Like I have a lot of Legacy Kane stuff I could sell and and get some decent cash for by like the right collector, um, but uh, eBay would still take, you know, a cut. Oh shit, door! I don't know why they made the door open. Okay, boss fight. dude you know this dude needs to work out more because one he's wearing heavy ass armor and he's trying to swing he's like oh, i'm so tired choke choke bitch are you dead already what did i hit him with fury you there what's your business here who are you i beg you be merciful good sir i am I was butler to the Bishop of Meridian, but the, the, the Seraphim, they're, they're inside now. I, I, I thought I would wait here. Where are they? They accuse the Bishop of aiding the vampire resistance. They're looking for proof. I beg of you, do not tell them where to find me. I will do anything. Yes, you will. Tell me where to find the Bishop. I, I can't. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Shall I ease your mind and tell you I am sent by Vorador for the vampire resistance? Or shall I simply tear out your throat and continue my search? I leave the decision to you. The cathedral. He fled there. He thought he would be safe. Holy ground will not deter his pursuer. Where is the cathedral? To the northeast. But it will do you no good. You cannot enter without the proper authority. I suggest you show me the way. Now. Of course, sir. This way, sir. It is my pleasure to serve you. This tunnel will bring you again to the streets. I thank you. Good night. All right, here we go for the best, the best like executions Stop ever. Game, you're scaring me. Like I don't even, I don't even need to hit him twice. Blech. Best weapon. This all the all the big boy swords are like the best weapons. Got a big, a big fucking axe, like literally. Oh no, you! I probably not. I have like ten followers on my Instagram. Um. Yep, link down below, baby. This <laughs> my. Follow, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, my Twitter, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <sighs> if I ever become one of those dudes, if I ever start playing the YouTube game and like. And like like comment subscribe then then please unsubscribe L dislike all my videos <laughs> all right we're at the we're at the home stretch man <laughs> yeah right i'll never do it i don't i think i've only done it for like like one or two videos um and yeah i don't i don't like i don't like it i, I think it's it, it encourages me not to do that like especially if you're a minute into a video and they're like 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 one minute in 30 seconds into the video and they're like you know like comment subscribe smash that like button click the notification bell the ding the ding like that makes me not want to do something when you tell someone to do something they do not want to do it that is basic human nature But yeah, we got one of my favorite weapons. I love the, the, the big boy weapons. Bitch. Get up. Get up, scum. Oh shit. Whoa, did he just open the fucking gate? What? You 
really gonna get up after that? Oh man, I love it. Oh, it's so, it's so good. Oh yeah, no, it can totally happen. Yeah, no, like if people, pe like, I understand why. And I know when you become a partner from YouTube, when, when YouTube actually starts paying you money and you start getting ad revenue or whatever, and you start, you know, monetizing your videos for like a dollar, a dollar, a minute or whatever the fuck, uh, or, you, or you have like 10 million views, but you only make $500 or some shit. Um, that I know when you're partnered by YouTube that you have to say is in your contract upon becoming a YouTube affiliate that you have to say like, comment, and subscribe in your shit. Like, it's annoying, it sucks, but it's there. You have to. Yeah, man, I love it. It's so, the, it's so good. The capitations are so are so good damn it stay stay all right uh where the fuck do i go oh there all right where's the owl i'm gonna kill the owl I better not break this weapon. This is my favorite weapon. Oh, I think he freezes. I think he's glitched. I know one of these guys in mist is like glitchy and no. Oh, found it. Are they both are they both fucking broken? Oh man. Okay, let's go to this guy first. Don't you just love this game? the other guy broken too oh shit are they all broken no way they're all broken don't don't turn this way <sighs> I should just get a compilation of blood omen 2 a uh, blood omen 2 um glitches and and put it in a in a in a best in a best of here i'm just gonna wait come on any day now there we go man the noise the sound design is fantastic oh like comment and subscribing Yeah, no, this is a regular glitch um, that I always come across in the PS2 version that I always played. I didn't know what could happen in this version, but I guess it can. Little did Kane know, Meridian ended up turning into Zygsterl, and he, and he, this is his crypt or some bullshit. Um, whoa. Really, there's gonna be freaking draw distance and pop in glitches now? Not that I'm complaining, that's a common thing. Oh man, where'd the bird go? Notice me. Where did he go? go? Oh yeah, cool. Okay. That's cool. I could just break these dudes. <laughs> Holy shit. This is the easiest this is the easiest part of the entire like level. have a join button wait what is this do 
don't forget the super chats oh super chats that's right oh and patreon hold on wait sorry i'm just totally i'm totally let me see this uh youtube format double ads before video yes yes that is yep like like share subscribe yeah within the first 30 seconds plug your sponsor two minutes of actual content more ads <laughs> And I forgot the Patreon plugs. Oh, shit. Yes, you're completely right. Super Chats. Yes, yes. Yeah, for some YouTube channels, you have to a join button for a monthly fee. What? What? No, okay. If I, when, when or if I ever become affiliated and start making ad revenue, the things I will do and I'm telling you this now, the things I will do is, yes, I will do the double ads before video, but that is it. It doesn't matter if um, my video is 10 minutes long or five minutes long, I will do the double ads just because. And then that's it. I will I will never do a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I, will never, I will never start a Patreon ever unless, oh shit, you're right. There is Kane's logo. What on earth? That's so weird. Um, oh, that's so weird. Is this, is the idea that this is actually Kane's crypt? And that Meridian, like, Z Zygstrel got absolved into Meridian? I don't know. Um, no, I will, uh, I will do, I will never start a Patreon unless, um, like, if I start reading more books and, like, I start doing more audio drama stuff, that's so weird. Memberships, I used to do that for another YouTube channel, and then I stopped because I didn't want to support YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, no, same thing with Twitch. Like, Twitch is, it's just, shh. No, um, if I start to do more audiobook readings, and I'll, and I'll, like, do a chapter a day or whatever of, a, of like, a Lovecraft story or something, and it's public domain, and I can make money off of it, then, um, I might start a Patreon, but, like, the, the only level I'll have is a dollar and it won't be you know I won't have like rewards or anything because it's just a dollar dude shit. you know like even for this if people want to donate money to me on twitch like a dollar is cool like I'd rather have you go down and and buy a, uh, a Founders Pack for Deadhouse Sonata. Um, link down below. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. No, uh, I'd rather want that. I'd rather have someone go buy a Founders Pack, like the $30 Founders Pack for Deadhouse Sonata, you know, get to the second age, and um, and then play that game. That way you're, support you're supporting me also, but you're also supporting something that that I care about and, uh, and want to support anyway so by supporting me you're supporting them which is a thing that you know that's how like it should be i think um also uh i noticed real quick before we get into this um all the bosses i just i just put this together now when looking at marcus all the bosses are based off of another kind of vampire from another region of the world Like, uh, Faustus, the first boss in chapter two, w looked very, like, like a, like, look very, looked very, um, Japanese inspired, um, with the ponytail and, like, his outfit. And then this is, uh, Marcus is very Nosferatu, like a very Nosferatu inspired vampire. Um, Sebastian and Magnus, I haven't, like, pinpointed yet, but I know that they're based off of, like, stuff and things. Greetings, old man. I assume that I address the Bishop of Meridian. I seek information on gaining access to the Sarafan Keep. You are to give me passage inside. I am sent by Vorador. What ails you? Speak! 
He speaks only at my command. What? You are too late, Kane. He is entirely in my power. Release him and I may spare your life. I hold the cards now, Kane. Surrender yourself to me, or I will kill you. What do I care for the life of some mortal? But the thought of killing you at last entices me. Tell me, Marcus, do you truly believe you can stop me? Stay back. You cannot win. The bishop will tell you nothing while he remains under my power, and you will never catch me. Chase me. Marcus is really Christopher Walken. All right, kick-ass moment. Where's the music? Here we go, baby. Oh yeah. I always thought this was timed. Like when I was younger, I always thought this was a timed section. So, uh, I always thought you were on a time limit. And there was no, like, you had to be fast or the game would, like, you would lose. But it's just a really cool scripted section. And then we get into one of the coolest boss fights. I love, I love this boss fight. I think it's fantastic. Oh shit, oh shit. boss fight and I should save yeah so they use Kane's theme um, oh fuck oh shit uh, shit and he's invisible so you get all you get like all these other powers and you I get that that mist is like your version of invisibility but man to actually go full invisible would have been awesome also, if you cheat and you have the Soul Reaver throughout this entire game, oh fuck! If you cheat and you have the Soul Reaver, um, and he he dies in like three hits, it's the fastest boss. God damn it! What a motherfucker! Where are you? There you are. Um, you can also cheese it, shit. Oh man, if I if I am I gonna die? You could also cheese it by, uh, yeah, like this. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll just do it the pattern ways. I won't try to, I won't try to cheese this game. Fuck. I really need to kill, cut some, cut some heads off, cause uh, I'm not gonna make it. Don't come attack me. Don't come attack me. Oh no, no way. All right, and uh and that is blood on the two shit. Yeah, listening to his feet. Heavy, yeah, it looks like you're supposed to blow. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, man, I'll totally have to edit that out. Good thing I saved. And But at least I don't have a big sword, so 
Oh well, maybe it was the big sword that broke. This, the game knew I was I was cheesing, so it had to uh, it had to to break. And now this boss fight's gonna take like a billion times longer. I wonder if jump would have an effect on him and like that would hurt him more. Oh fuck! No 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 no! Wrong one. Uh, this one. There he is. Like, he shows up occasionally. It's like you have... It's, you know, the, the thing that I always... That I wonder is, is Marcus really invisible or is he just tricking Kane's mind into thinking he's invisible? You know? Because he has, like, a really strong mental... Mental uh, powers. God damn it. My ears. My ears. <laughs> All right, we're almost at that part where we were last time. Oh, fuck. All right, come here. Where are you? Shit. There we go. Damn. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it did. The game was like, you hate Blood Omen too? I'll crash on you. And now I'm missing my big friggin' axe, and I can't just cut these guys' heads off, so they're gonna be annoying when I have to fight them. And then some of them, uh, some of them get crossbows, which makes it even worse. Alright, this is the tricky part, because, uh, Marcus just, like, shows up whenever he wants to. Like, you really have to, uh,. Be on the lookout for him. It can take it can take a while. Do my Damn it! Let's see if I can get break it. Let's break it. Go 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 go! Damn it! Hide in that corner. Shit! I think he can run from me. Oh, whoa, no way, no, 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 no. Let me build up some rage. Will I even have time to build up rage, though? How to make this boss fight worse is if uh, is if Marcus regenerated health. Like if he's god damn it! Like if he slowly regenerated health. Just imagine, oh man! Come on, grab. Where's the? No, whoa, wait, another one. Whoa. close. Holy moly cannoli. Wait, he, you yelled in frustration, Captain? <laughs> I'm the one playing here. Probably because I made you angry because Marcus can slowly regenerate health. Man, that would suck. No, get your fucking crossbowman off my ass. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come here. It's like what you're just watching. See, he's he's fucking with me. He knows. Damn it. And like the thing is, I think his men will never stop coming. Like there's no way to um 
like stop his his cronies from you think you can catch me? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good so far. Cheap mother cheap bastard. Yeah, baby, we got it. Yes. Oh shit. Oh fuck I lost him. Oh fuck I lost him. Uh down that way, I think. There you are. I see a shimmer. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, come on. Dude, I literally gotta hit you like one more time and you're dead, bro. Where are you? Destroy Kane now, my puppets. Uh. Shit. Where the fuck are you? Oh, no, no, no. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he just summoned more, so like they never stop coming. Um, sorry, what does this say? Shit. Where the fuck are you? Oh, oh! Shit. Oh, okay, we got him, we got him. Way to go, team. We did it. Thank you for destroying that fiend. He, he robbed me of my mind. He was a novice. Bishop, I require your help. Borador has sent me to gain passage to the Saraphan Keep. One of our associates is held captive there. A fool's errand to enter the very maw of the beast. But yes, I will help you. I will take you there. I will show you the entrance. Right, that is it. That is it from Blood Omen 2 for today. Uh, more tomorrow. Oh God, that was frustrating. Um, yeah, and uh, I think I've I've went over my general trying to keep it short thing. So pretty pretty good. Not too bad with time. Gotta edit this a little bit. Uh, but yeah. So thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, Tamika, I'll text you. Um, and then I'm gonna gonna start uploading this shit to YouTube. Yeah, Marcus is annoying, but I think it's a good, it's a great boss fight though, because of just the invisibility and stuff that can happen. I think that's pretty sweet. Like, I dig it, I dig it. And uh, what's my favorite? I mean, the Seraphim, the the ending boss fight is pretty good. Um, and I think, I think the the thing that happens in the eternal prison level i think that's a really cool boss fight too oh yeah definitely i'll send you i'll send you a pic now um but yeah uh thanks for joining me guys uh i'm gonna go uh what time is it anyway i'm gonna go charge my phone for one thing and then i think i'll read a book yes so thanks for joining see you guys next time on blood omen 2 i think this is the button to turn it off Right. Did I do something? Why does it ask me this? Okay, here's the thing before I quit. Um this this I, I have it set hotkeys set on Streamlabs. 
um, but it won't like I should just be able to push the button and then it starts and stops right but no it, it asks if I really want to do this like if I'm clicking the button then I really want to do it I'm sure there's a way to turn that off maybe I'll ask Scott I guess to, to how the fuck do I fix this but yeah okay bye <laughs>